In the previous video where we stopped after installing nginx and php and the necessary required extensions now we need to pull in our code and place it inside the appropriate directory uh, so in my github account uh, which is sobi explained slash laravel deployment there is a ampl application a simple laravel application which you know i have shown you previously where we have started this uh, project this is not the exact director exact repository but it is more or less the same thing maybe a version number uh, a small uh, difference in the version number might be there okay so we have we are planning to pull in this repository so let us come back here uh, now the server is available uh, server is running engineering server is running let's go to war uh, uh, cd slash war slash triple w triple w folder and this is where we plan to pull in this uh, directory so sudo git clone because uh, this var directory is owned by another user uh, we need to use the sudo because shobi doesn't have access to this triple uh, w folder clone uh, okay i will paste the repository link to layhacker.com because that is our uh, directory name which we have given in the uh, you know uh, the H A nginx configuration so you might want to uh, refresh again uh, so we will uh, hc slash nginx sites available slash layhacker.com.conf so at the top you can see the root the document root is www layhacker.com slash public because public uh, that's where the index.php file is present all right now let us simply restart the nginx configuration sudo service nginx minus t t stands for test uh, uh, sudo uh, sorry sudo nginx minus t no need of service it will test the configuration tell us if there is any missing okay now the configuration syntax is okay test is successful simply restart the server all right let us refresh again and see what happens now it says the page is not working unable to handle this request http error 500 why we have installed uh, everything is present lay hacker uh, if you go here all the all the files are present but there is a problem because we have just pulled in the pulled in the, all the code but we haven't run the composer installed here because you cannot see the vendor directory here but in our local case uh, for example let me open another tab and see projects slash laravel deployment and if you see here the vendor directory is here all the dependencies all the library dependencies are present inside the vendor directory so we don't have it here also we didn't install composer as well so we have to install composer first otherwise for example if you run composer install you know composer is not present so let us install composer sudo apt get install composer okay press yes composer is getting installed yes composer is installed now type composer install now the problem is that does not exist and could not be created why because permission behind. when you run sudo composer install it asks for the password of course but you know do not run composer as root super user because all the files will be owned by root and it is a security issue but what we will do is like once we install everything we will change the ownership of all the files to the nginx user so that it will be uh, you know safe all right now the composer dependencies have been installed now let us refresh again still says unable to handle this request because i think we access it via the uh, ip address so if you type lehacker.com okay still uh, there is error uh, but i think what might be the issue is the uh, env file is missing uh, also also the thing is that you can see all the files are owned by root uh, which we don't want why because we want all the files to be owned by the uh, nginx user so you might be wondering who is the nginx user so that is actually uh, there is a user called www data 
that is uh, so to to make uh, the files owned by that user sudo ch on minus r which means recursively on the files uh, ww dash data and the group is also triple w data and the current folder show me now if you type ll you can see all the files are owned by the user also we have a problem where we miss the env file so i will simply type cp dot env example to dot env uh, uh, that actually failed why because of the sudo permissions now i will own the files once more so that the env file is also owned by the user all right uh, now let us try here cool you can see now we get an error message runtime exception no application encryption key has been specified because the env example dot uh, doesn't have any key key present so sudo vi dot env file v dot env and app key app name app key app key should be a random string so in this case i will uh, type something here but in your case generate a secure key and change it every uh, in every deployment app debug true to be false because we don't want our uh, uh, true uh, debug to be true in the production app env should also be production so that no debug information is present uh, given to the outside world all right now if you go here it says server error still the server error i might be i'm wondering why so let us go to storage slash logs you can see uh, tail minus f laravel this file what does it say uh okay i got logged out from the server out altogether uh, let us enable let us try to enable the uh, debug mode and see what is the problem exactly or triple w a hacker dot com uh, so so be true only supported ciphers are with the correct key lengths okay uh, i think i know the issue uh, because we put a random key string there maybe there is a problem with the key length so simply type php artisan key generate maybe you need to suffix with sudo okay application is in production yes application key set successfully yep yep now we have this uh, project ready and running in the cloud in the live all right guys so it's simple uh, let us put this uh, env file back to false so that in case of any error you know uh, it will be logged actually instead of uh, displaying directly to the public uh, so now we are uh, running okay so i click somewhere uh, okay now we are running this thing you might be wondering what is the difference here because i ch simply change the text from uh, you know uh, laravel to deployment tutorial so that it looks like you know something has been changed okay all right now we have this site up and running in the upcoming videos we will be showing how to connect to database how to connect to uh, you know something like a, a aws rds or a custom database provider or maybe installing mysql locally uh, things like that also i will be i'm planning to show uh, you how to connect to redis how to you know configure a mail client uh, and many things like that and if you are not a subscriber yet consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video thank you